NICHD Strategic Planning and Working Group, Pediatric Diseases and Conditions Subgroup, Francois Lux, MD, PhD, Pediatric Surgeon-in-Chief, Hasbro Children's Hospital, Providence, Rhode Island, Professor of Surgery, Pediatrics, Obstetrics, and Gynecology, Brown University. Dr. Lux, speaking on camera, interspersed with scenes of the following. Speakers at NICHD Strategic Planning Meeting, October 2018. Attendees at the strategic planning meeting writing on a whiteboard and reading through papers. Whiteboard content on themes and big ideas. Three-dimensional animation of a fetus in a womb. A sonogram. Feet of an infant in a hospital neonatal unit. Mother and toddler with a pediatrician. Mother holding a baby. Surgeons in an operating room with a vital signs monitor. Infants in a neonatal unit. Physical therapists working with children. Uh, so I was, first of all, very honored to be a participant in this strategic planning. Uh, what struck me was that uh, this regroups uh, a lot of experts from a lot of different fields within uh, children and then maternal health. And I was uh, amazed at how, despite the fact that we all come from different fields with our own agenda, to be honest, uh, I was amazed at the fact that we kind of came together and we agreed much more than we disagreed in terms of defining uh, priorities for NICHD and to try to focus on what was really important. We know that uh, a number of uh, chronic and even adult conditions uh, have their origin in fetal life and uh, that's been recognized for a decade or two now. Uh, it's very gratifying to see that uh, NICHD might put that as a priority to uh, evaluate origins of certain diseases that affect not only children but also adults and those origins can be found in fetal life, can have placental influences and also influences in the first few months or years of life. This would allow us to uh, First of all, recognize early on to have early uh, pickup, early diagnosis so that we can treat them uh, uh, more rapidly and also develop uh, ways to even prevent them altogether. So violence and trauma in children is uh, said to be the number one killer uh, in children uh, over one year of age. Uh, that's unfortunately true. It's also true that for uh, every death, uh, there are also nine or ten others who are uh, chronically disabled, so it's a very important uh, cause of acquired disease and conditions that are treatable. We definitely need to do more research in the prevention of trauma of all sorts, uh, and also it means that uh, the, the treatment for those children uh, will be swifter, will be better organized, and also the chronic rehabilitation of those children uh, will, be, will have improved, and therefore they will be able to return to society as productive and happy members of society. Footage of the physical therapist working with children courtesy of Aritech, Nemours, Alfred I. DuPont Hospital for Children.